Hi, I'm Justine Louise. Welcome to my channel. So I've actually already filmed this and realized I hit the record button at the wrong time. So I had blank video. So anyway, uh, I'm back again. So I hopefully I remember everything that I said the first time. So what I'm filming today is um, my review on the brand The Ordinary. Now I probably mentioned um, if you saw my video back in December that I did buy all of this in my December haul and I was kind of on the fence whether or not to keep it. I bought it because I'd heard all this buzz about it but I'm very happy with my current anti-aging skincare and I thought if it ain't broke why fix it but then I thought well I am a beauty channel and I should be reviewing beauty items especially ones that have so much buzz and especially um, if they do work and this price point is amazing so I thought I would give them a try. Um, just a little bit of background, I think The Ordinary came out um, last year sometime and if you're not familiar it's a very basics brand and they sell pretty much chemicals. So you have to be kind of your own chemist because they just sell something that's some sort of acid and you need to know, um, figure out what it's used for and mix it with what. And you're basically your own chemist with it. So that was another thing that was kind of putting me off about it. I prefer to just buy a cream and it's all done for me. So anyway, um, back to my review. I did um, start the products about just after Christmas I think. I did order it in two batches because the first time when I ordered it they had sold out of most of the items immediately and so then they replenished stock so I was able to order um, some more and I don't know if any of you know this but the Bay is now carrying um, the Ordinary as well online and so I was able to buy all the products that I couldn't get at Sephora that had sold out and they also carry a few more items like the foundation and the primer which I did not buy um, but I just bought um, all the skincare things and I could have done this as a video with my favorites and fails but I thought I would do it just on the ordinary and also because I need to return all the items so that kind of is an indicator of how this review is going to go anyway let's get started so the first thing um, that I bought was the salicylic acid sorry I can't pronounce that but it's basically an acid that's supposed to um, clear up acne prone skin so I bought this and I was using it twice a day um, in my t-zone and I thought it would help um, with blackheads and clearing up any um, or preventative of any acne now um, I don't know if you guys used to watch Sex in the City and Charlotte, uh, one of the characters said, every night I look in a magnifying mirror and I like to look at every one of my pores. Well, I'm a culprit of doing that and I know it's so bad, but I do it. And I, uh, anyway, I've been using this for two and a half weeks and I have not seen one single improvement. I still wake up with blackheads. I still have all the same issues that I had two and a half weeks ago and I know you could be saying well you haven't really given it enough of a chance but I'm a very picky customer and I like to see instant improvements and I have had products where I've had instant improvements so I I expect that from all my products now so I've used it for two and a half weeks with no improvement so I'm giving up and I will give you a, a full synopsis of all the products as a whole at the end and um, what my skin as a whole looked like. Um, but I think you kind of have an idea where I'm going with this. <laughs> the next item is the Retinoid. I got the 2%. I did order from the Bay. I think they have a 5%. Um, that order hasn't even arrived yet, but I'm just going to return it. Um, I normally use Retin-A every night, a prescription strength 0 0.05 that I got from my dermatologist and I've been doing that for many many years, maybe five years and my mom has used that forever and she has really nice skin so I think it definitely works. So I think maybe um, the problem with this one is that it just wasn't powerful enough for me. Um, my skin is used to Retin-A which is pretty potent and this just wasn't um, potent enough. And again, I would wake up the next morning and my skin didn't look that great. Whereas when I use my Retin-A, you see visible brightening. Um, your skin looks great every morning when you wake up. So I didn't see any results, so forget it. The next thing was the Buffet. 
Um, this came in my second order, so I've only had this a short time. And basically this is a mixture of all chemicals, lactic acid, um, hyaluronic acid, bunch of buzzwords that I've heard of, and it's supposed to be used as a serum. So I've been using this in the morning and the evenings, and I wasn't really seeing any results, and I used it almost a week, I think, and three days in, I started getting huge um, breakouts forming under the skin, like cystic acne kind of thing, in my cheek area, like in my laugh line. So I said, all right, that's it, I'm out. Um, and I immediately stopped using this buffet. So I actually remember another um, YouTuber who has oily skin um, mentioned that as well. And I apologize, in my other video I did um, give you an, a breakdown of my needs. I'm in my mid-40s, I have um, very oily skin and I still have acne breakouts and I get cystic acne. So that can kind of give you an idea of maybe if these products would work for you or not work for you um, if you are similar um, skin to me. And I am fairly sensitive as well and I do have a lot of allergies. So the next product here is the lactic acid and again this one came in my second order and the only reason why I bought this is because my mom raves about the Sunday Riley good jeans. And she, I bought this for my mom at Christmas because she'd run out of the good jeans and she said, oh, I just wish there was a cheaper alternative because it is incredibly expensive. So I bought her this one and she's been using it since Christmas. And I actually just met with her um, just on the weekend and I said, you know what? There's something different about your skin. It's not looking that great. And she says, well, the only thing different is I'm not using the Sunday Riley and I've been using this. And I said, well, I think you need to stop using this and go back to Sunday Riley, which has now led me to, she said, I should try it as well. And I did have a hundred point perk of the small one and I've been using it the last three days and I literally noticed a huge improvement on my skin. And this breakout that started here instantly gone away and I've had this scar around my mouth of a pimple that I got before Christmas that just wouldn't go away even though I'm using these acids burning my skin off and it just would not go away like the scar from it and I've noticed a visible result in the three days from using that um, good jeans so uh, that might be on my shopping list I'm not sure but um, anyway the lactic acid from this product line is not good and also if I didn't mention to you the appeal on the ordinary um, is for a multitude of reasons the minimal packaging um, no marketing and that's how they say they get the lower price point because all the items in the ordinary line range between five and I'd say fifteen dollars at the most so that is a significant savings compared to um, traditional skincare creams that contain these ingredients. So the last thing I have that I am going to keep is the 100% rosehip oil. And I also have in my Bay Order a marula oil. Now I've been using the Drunk Elephant marula oil and I actually used the last of it last night. So I am going to try that and see if it's comparable. I don't know. I mean the Drunk Elephant one is extremely expensive, but there has to be a, a reason why there's a difference. I mean, even on oils that we consume in our body, like coconut oil and olive oil, they're not all the same. Um, I wouldn't just buy any kind of oil to consume um, as compared, so I should be using the same kind of things on my face as well. Even the um, oil, essential oils that you put in diffusers, they say there's different levels of quality and virgin and this and that and this and that. So anyway, it's such a small price point for an oil. I'm going to keep the rose hip and I will keep the marula when it arrives. Now basically, all in all, after using these products over the almost three weeks, I noticed my skin looked tight dull and almost like leather, um, almost like I'd been in the sun. It was just parched. It just had no life. Normally I get a lot of compliments on my skin. I think it's because I'm so oily and I drink a lot of water. I'm very hydrated. So my skin always looks plump and fresh. And it honestly just looked tired and dull and lifeless. So 
for the three days I've stopped using these items, I, my skin has just completely turned around. So I've gone back to my Retin-A and my regular anti-aging skincare routine, and I've now um, incorporated this Sunday Riley Good Genes Lactic Acid. So we will see how that goes. But anyway, in a nutshell, these products did not work for me. However, that doesn't mean they work, won't work for you. And I highly suggest you trying them, especially for such a low price point. Um, if they work for you, that's amazing. And I hope they do. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you had um, good or bad experiences using the products, when I checked the reviews on Sephora, they're all just glowing, raving reviews. So I don't know if it's just because of my skin type or maybe my age. Perhaps they're more geared for younger skin. I'm not quite sure, but it's definitely not for me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click like. And if you'd like to see more beauty related videos, please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you always see when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.